Hey, what is up you guys? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing more of a live video, so please bear with me. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a base color for any character or pretty much anything that you draw and you have an outline for your character in Adobe Illustrator. It's very easy and very simple process when you're doing just a base color layer. But other than the description, let's get right into the video. So for my character, I drew this character on Any Monday. It is Haruko from FLCL. You guys should really go check out the creation video of this character. It's really cool. I make an anime character, fan art, or either um, personal uh, custom art just out of my own mind on Mondays. And this is what I came up this Monday. It's Haruko in her baseball outfit, and it came out real nicely. So I recommend you guys go check out that video. But enough of the advertisement. Let's go right into the coloring. So. When it comes to doing a color like this, usually you always want to have your colors already picked out and stuff. But that's the thing what I always do before I start my character is I'll get my color palette going ahead of time. So I have all my colors already preset. I have colors, for example, if you look right here, um, I have her skin tones, one for her base and then one for her shadow, her clothing tone, base color, then shadow and then other parts of the clothing and things like that and it's, it's very easy to do this and it's not hard at all so I'm gonna get started by first of all I'm gonna duplicate this layer bring it down just because it's very important to you lock the top layer so what I do now is um, after you get done creating your character doing all the sketches and stuff you get onto the line art phase you want to go through your character with the fine toothpick comb and go through the whole entire thing and look to see if there's any openings before you merge it all together um, if you guys already know what I'm talking about then go ahead and skip ahead of the video but just go through your character and look to see if there's any openings because for example right here on this line let's say there was an opening right here and um, like, a little, like a small little gap it can be the smallest little gap at all um, as long as these two are not connecting then the colors will not fill in that area it will just be blank so you want to make sure everything's completely closed in okay so after that you get done doing that you can start with the coloring so what I always do is I always just like make a big square so what I'm gonna do for her I'm gonna select her clothing color her light color and then I'm just gonna make a big square all the way over her like so right right then I'm going to make sure the square is highlighted I'm gonna right click arrange send to back okay and then I'm just gonna drag doesn't matter how big the circle uh, square is drag and select both of them make sure they're both selected and if you don't have your pathfinder window like I do on my side I always have it on my side so if you don't have yours it's easy to find go to window and then it should be right there pathfinder and it'd be easy for you to find so pathfinder and then you're gonna click on merge okay so deselect everything and then select it again and then right click and then what you want to do is isolate selected group okay so what this does it pretty much isolates everything selected so if you were to click on to just the color outside you can see that the color outside is highlighted and so I'll have this really cool outline of the character done right there what I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna just drag this right over here and leave it there because it's not needed you can make a really cool stencil art with that if you want to but it's really not needed so I'm gonna just uh, take that over here now what I personally do just because it skewers the colors a little bit um, I'm in the isolation mode I always click out of it just because these colors when I start to select them and put them inside of here it doesn't add up properly so on my keyboard what I do is I hit the A button to change up to the arrow tools to do the direct selection tool and so it makes it easier for me to just go and pick each one I want to do so I hit that a button and then I just select the colors I'm gonna do the skin first starting off so for her legs and her hands and her face and her neck and stuff so let's begin it's gonna be super simple so I hold down shift button while I'm doing this so I can select multiple things and I just go and I just start plucking away um, as you can see there it's all going good and then I let go of shift button then I press the I button for the eyedropper tool and then I select one of the colors I already have pre-selected and I click it as you see the color has changed right there real cool real easily um, and I like smaller stuff like things like this I always have to zoom in and do it because for some reason a Adobe Illustrator it'll select all the outlines and stuff and that can become a hassle and it's very quick and easy uh, parts like her ears parts of her hair right here would have been difficult to select if I was zoomed out so let's go to zoom in and like I said hit the A button then shift key just so I can select everything and get it going um, 
and it's real quick and easy I for the eyedropper tool and then boom just like that so easy and then for other parts of her outfit let's say her belt um, a again select let's see this is gonna be all one color I'm not gonna do super shading this is only be for the base color because I don't want to get too far in detail because coloring can get extremely complicated depending how you want to do it and uh, that'll be for her arm sleeves just pick uh, one of the colors over here the eyedropper tool I'm gonna pick the light color the darker colors is always for shading so just like that and as you see it's starting to come together and it's real simple real easy again a button shift and then just select the colors uh, not colors but the areas that you want to have highlighted and uh, zoom out let's see baseball right so baseball has a red stripe on it it's gonna be for the red the light red so then I again hit the eye button for the eyedropper tool I go to my red and I select it and as you see it's starting to come together I'm gonna do her hair next it's pinkish hair so again a, a button again select 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 and then I'm gonna zoom out hit the Z button if you click anywhere outside of her for example let's say I hit the V button oopsie well, that, that's, that's right there so let's say I have something selected her hair right and I'm not holding shift down so let's say I press the B button since these are all grouped together everything will just click together so it's not good to do that so like I said the A button for direct selection tool is what you want to do just hold shift button down when you're clicking on the items that you want to have selected again zoom out I go to her hair pink I for eyedropper done just like that super easy I'm gonna change the the whites now to the white so a button again I'm gonna change the baseball bang bang and then I am just gonna make it white so I can click anywhere on the canvas white if I want to make it black I could but then I'll just look freaky <laughs> um, sure I'll change her hat color too I'll make it be the darker blue just because I want to and uh, yeah, inside of her shirt, I'll make that be a dark blue as well, just because it looks better that way, in my opinion. And as you see here, it's pretty much done for the base. Um, I need to finish up with her eyes just to make sure everything's all adequate and things. Uh, change it. Her eyes are kind of like a goldish yellow. I'll make them be like that. And again, reminder, this is just for the base color. This is not shades or shadowing or detailing of any sort. This is like just the base, 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 you know. Um, and that would be pretty much it right there. And that's really cool. You know, you can make a lot of things with this. Uh, for example, I put a background on it just to show like that, you know. And if I really want to go into more detail, um, there is a reason why I made the tops part still available. As you see, it's right there. Uh, usually what I always do is I'll hide that part and I'll select this one right here. I always keep this one and I'll duplicate it again just to add like a cool like sticker effect. I'll lock the top one again. Now this one's open here on my layers panel. And then, let's see, I'll just uh, highlight all this right here, all the outline. And I'll go to my Pathfinder window again, merge, and then I'll just go over here, down here to the, the color area, and I'll change it to, I usually just pick white. And uh, don't worry if it comes out like that. All you gotta do is just hit merge and it'll merge it all. I did that wrong. Uh, oh yeah, never mind, because I get that. So yeah, just merge it all. And then I always swap it, just like that, with the little arrow thing. Um, Shift X does the exact same thing. And then um, what I do is I just change the, the stroke length to our width density to something else hard harder thicker um, I'm actually gonna go back and then merge all that together so it's now just one solid outline and then I'm gonna hit shift X on it so it's just like that and then I like I said um, let's give her like I don't know blue or red how about red why not I could do red and then shift X and then I'm just gonna change it to like seven. I'm gonna go over here to the little um, stroke menu. Click this button to round off all the things, uh, all the lines, and then I can just put back what I have. And as you see here, that's pretty much it. I am going to get rid of this over here. This 
in the way so bang bang boom it's still connected so let's right click that hit ungroup because it's still connected to each other ungroup boom i can delete that i'm going to delete this over here uh, i got two of them up so let's do that again so and then that is pretty much it how you make your base colors before you start getting into detail and you can do so much when you get into detail with what your character can look like and this is just the base color it's a real quick tutorial i did miss a color right here it's supposed to be red right here a little band um yeah like you can do shades and things make it stand out like crazy but this is just for base color and uh, I really I really highly recommend you guys watch my creation video of this character the process how I made her from the skeleton form to the detail form to the final phrase final phase and um, I think you guys will really enjoy it but that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys liked it this is more of a live video like I said so sorry um, well, rate, comment, subscribe. This is your boy Dominus here for a quick tutorial at Common Sense Graphics. Hit that like button. Hit the bell icon. All that bullshit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Your boy out.